Hello everyone <clears throat> Unfortunately I can't believe I've got to make this video This is about universal credit I know many of you have seen it on the news and everything else About what a horrendous thing this is Unfortunately I was actually put on uh, universal credit for a temporary amount of time And I have to give you my experience on this this has got to be the worst thing that have that has been forced upon people on this country it is absolutely horrendous the person who came up with it or the people rather um they need to be shot because they must be responsible for people dying all over the place i just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of um the things that people are forced to commit to and these people already have jobs they're not people who are um not working they're working um are on low wages so the government helps them in order to try and get them into into a more higher paid job which is literally impossible because most of the people are just skilled on that level and know the jobs are going to pay higher for that skill level anyway unless they give training and everything else which they can't be bothered my view of this is that they've created this in order to find any excuse to say to that person right you're not entitled to this benefit you're not entitled to this because you've not done this oh we told you to go to an interview you didn't go so right your benefits are now sanctioned for three years look at this look at this nonsense that they've got here this is the thing that you have to commit to and not that thing you are forced to commit to. You can't say no to any of this. So imagine a person who's working already 31 hours. And, you know, uh, you know they're the ones forcing you to take this, you know, give you this benefit. Because you're working 31 hours, if you don't uh, give them this information, then they'll ask you why are you uh, collecting the rest of the money then. You know, it's very, very complex. But anyway, have a look at this. These are the commitments that you are forced into doing. And by the way, they message you at all hours of the night online. They ask you, right, why haven't you got uh, the internet? Because everybody has it now. Yeah. So regardless of somebody who works nighttime, they'll they'll harass you all hours of the night. And most important, one thing I've noticed is they'll message you just a day before. For example, you've got a, a meeting at the job center. Okay. And they'll message you at 2, 3 o'clock at night saying, have you fulfilled this? Have you fulfilled that? You need to accept this commitment. And you know what? Somebody who's already stressed in his life, her life, gets a message like that at all hours of the night. Not only have they ruined the fact that he has to work nights, he or she, sorry, they're not interested. This is just to try and entrap you into making a mistake so they do not have to give you this. And this was created by tyrants who are stealing money, taxpayers' money, and leaving it in offshore accounts. People like, who Who should we say? Oh, by the way, they made laws so you can't look at how much they earn or what they earn and how they earn. Ian Duncan Smith, this is the person that you need to grab a hold of. This tyrant, this unbelievable criminal of this land. Right, here we go. Look at this. This is your commitment. Look for and take any paid work that you can do. If you don't, this includes applying for jobs recommended by your work coach and taking up any jobs you are offered. If you don't, your payments will be reduced for up to three years. Imagine, because you said... You've applied for a job that's been recommended for you and you you said no. For example, this job pays an extra £10. You're already in a job that pays you and it may be less, but this job is permanent. They offer you a job that pays you £10. That, you could lose that job in two, three years. There's no guarantee. So look at the position straight away of what they put you into. Be available for job interviews and work as agreed. You're working 31 hours a day. They want you to mess about going around doing interviews to a job that you know is not going to pay higher than what you've already got. So now they've burdened you with you with more responsibility, which is absolutely unbelievable because a lot of these people who are obviously, you know, have children, you know, you, you know, they have to go to the jobs, they have to come home, they have to look after their kids, and they're saying, right, oh, we don't give a crap about that. 
You need to do what we tell you to do. They are, do you know what? This is this is like bloody slavery. Do all the activities you've agreed with your work coach. If you don't, your payment will be reduced until the day before you do as you agreed. Once you've done this, your payment will be reduced for an additional 7, 14 or 21 days. Basically, we don't want to pay you. We're just looking for something. Just say something so we can stop your payments. This is done by a government. A tyrant government. Only a tyrant government does something like this to people. Who the hell allowed to be, these people to be kept voted into a government? Attend and take part fully in all appointments. If you don't, your payment will be reduced from the date of the appointment until the day before you contact us to arrange a new one. You must attend the new appointment. Once you've done this, your payment will be reduced for an additional 7, 14 or 21 days. More excuses. Right, let's see if we can just find one tiny little thing and we'll just cut off their benefit. Let's move on. Report changes to you. If a job ends and you don't report it within five days, your payment will be reduced until you do report it. So imagine you're depending on something the next day. Whatever reason you may have forgot, we human beings we forget things. You understand? And believe me, they will cut off your money. They don't give a damn about any excuses. You ring them, whatever. They'll cut your payments. Your payment will be reduced for an additional 7, 14 or 20, 28 days. If you leave a job or lose pay by choice or due to misconduct, your payment can be reduced for up to three years. Can you imagine you work for somebody, you've had an issue. It doesn't matter what that issue is. It could be a serious issue. And for example, maybe harassment. Okay. Listen carefully to this. If you leave a job or lose pay by choice or due to misconduct. Misconduct means that if you say I had an argument with your boss or whatever it is and you leave. To them, that's an, enough of an excuse to tell you, right, we're stopping your payments for three years. The psychological stress that they can cause with this, do you know what, is absolutely shocking. And yet these people in the government are telling you that, oh, yeah, stress is the biggest killer of this society. When you start a job or earn more, don't forget to report that too. So basically, oh, let us into what you're doing in your life. Let us know everything. Let me find. Let us find out something just so we can cut your benefit, just like that. Right. So, anyway, there's more of this absolute nonsense that they do. It's basically a continuous harassment to get some extra money that people are desperate for, and. It's like living under a Nazi slave regime. I'm telling you, this, this is what this is. Uh, you know, the poor people, what they're going through. Some of these people that are being harassed continuously. Have you done this? Have you done that? You need to find another job, but you can't because whatever people, the jobs that people have, are they're just skilled on that level. No matter what interviews they go to, they're going to find the same jobs, if there is any jobs out there. Anyway, in the first place, half the jobs don't even exist here. They'll send you to a job, and if there's an extra £10 a bill, they'll expect you to take it, then you can lose that job after a month. Now you're jobless. This is absolutely horrendous. There are people that need to be held to account for this who are continuing to say universal credit is, is is what works it does not it is a tyrant's way of forcing the people blaming the people saying that people are scrounging and taking money from the government when they clearly are not they are not doing this what is happening is there's trillions being squandered by the government and their excuse is to blame the people by bringing these things in so they can hide their crimes. If you have any common sense, and this is not just to anybody, you might be earning a good wage and you, you're probably not into universal credit, you're not claiming universal credit or anything like that, but one day it will affect you and your kids because this is a tyrannical way 
of looking at the public. They're basically looking at you as scum. You're working and they're looking at you as scum while they're the ones actually thieving. I recently um, did some study to find out about where Universal uh, Credit came from, who was in it. Ian Duncan Smith is the founder of this. And I, when he did come up with this, he was actually asked, oh, could you live on uh, this kind of money? And he actually said, yeah. And some reporter said, okay, then why don't you do it in shows? And he never did. It shows you what kind of a tyrant this is. These people should not be in the government. They do not have the knowledge to run a society. They are criminals. They are most likely stealing taxpayers' money. They are in jobs that, that the taxpayer pays uh, pays them with. Some of them are from twenty two, thirty thousand pounds. God knows what they're doing, how they're getting it, uh, claiming expensive to no limit, trillions going missing to, uh, here, there, and everywhere else, and then they're going to the small working class people and say, right, you're to blame. You're the one. Uh, you're the reason why the country's money is missing. It's just about pointing fingers. That's all they're doing. This universal credit needs to stop immediately. And people need to be held to account. The people who came up with this need to be held to account, especially Ian Duncan Smith. He needs to be asked, when he got this out, people have died because of this, because they didn't get money. He needs to be taken to court. He needs to be charged with murder. I'm so, That's just the way I feel. He is responsible for the deaths of people. Him and whoever stood in that office and said, right, this is a bloody good idea. If you agree, disagree, like, subscribe, message below. I don't know anybody who's going to disagree with this. If you've been on universal credit, there's no way you would agree with it. An enemy would not put his... No one would force this on anyone. An enemy wouldn't do it to his own enemy. It's as simple as that. Oh, look, the session is due to expire in 43 seconds, so we'll harass you later. Anyway, people, like, subscribe, leave a message below. Let's get talking about this. Let's start doing something about this. There are people literally dying. I've seen reports of people dying. Um, I haven't really planned... Uh, to do this probably I was so angry uh, when um, I found out the consequences is the reason that I made this quick video this is nothing um, that I wanted to get to because there's so many things about this that's just horrendous there's just not enough that you can talk about on this there's just not enough time we need to start talking about it at least and most importantly, we need to start. We need to start holding people to account. People like Ian Duncan Smith, whether he's involved in it or not anymore, I don't know. I've not really checked. I need to check um, and find out uh, these tyrants, what they're doing. You know, the ones that who came up with it, where they are. This is just something. This needs to be gotten rid of immediately. Um, anyway, good day, people. <laughs>